Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I wanted to talk to you about Enthusiast Gaming Holdings Inc. E G L X in Canada. Discover the red hot market that counts Drake. That's right, Drake, music mogul Drake, and Michael Jordan, basketball icon, multi billionaire Michael Jordan, as early investors, and that. Goldman Sachs recently predicted is going to quickly surpass MLB, which is Major League Baseball, and NHL in viewership. That's right. Discover the red hot market that counts Drake and Michael Jordan as early investors and that Goldman Sachs recently predicted is going to quickly surpass MLB and NHL in viewership. Currently at 97 cents, the market cap of 43.39 million and volume of 286,000. This is a company you need to put on full alert, put on your watches, put on your radar right now. Financial reporter who foresaw the pot investment craze says this market is the next big thing. Find out why Enthusiast Gaming on the TSX Venture under the symbol EGLX and in America on the OTCQB exchange under EGHIF is uniquely positioned to play a prominent role in the future market growth. While investors have been busy studying the U.S. and Canadian pop markets, another market has been quietly exploding in value, led in particular by eSports. That market is video gaming, and I love video games. My kids love video games, especially my son. The rapid growth it has been experiencing has financial reporter Chris Perry, who first picked up on the rising popularity of pot investing, saying that video gaming is now what pot was back in 2015. I say pardon? In other words, him and other industry experts believe that this market and companies like Enthusiast Gaming, once again, EGLX in Canada, E-G-H-I-F are set to see rapid growth in the future. And there is a picture of Michael Jordan and Drake. Already, Michael Jordan has invested in esports startup Axiomatic Gaming, which owns the professional gaming franchise Team Liquid. Also, Canadian rap giant Drake has acquired co-ownership of 100 Thieves, a lifestyle apparel and esports company. These two entrepreneurs are not the only early market investors, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, New York Mets executive Jeff Wilpon, and LA Rams owner Stan Kroenke have all invested in Activision Blizzard's new Overwatch Esports League. All of this growth and investment in video gaming is good news for enthusiast gaming, which is currently the largest independent online gaming network in North America. Wow. This is going to be big. Esports is quickly becoming one of the largest spectator sports in the world, with the global audience expected to total 456 million in 2019. Earlier this year, Goldman Sachs made a head turning prediction. This was the prediction Esports will soon surpass Major League Baseball and National Hockey League in viewership numbers and match even the NFL's much vaunted audience figures in five short years. That is mind boggling. Goldman Sachs cited New Zoo's latest global esports market report, which reported that global esports economy will grow to 905.6 million this year, a 38% year over year increase with a global audience of 380 million, comprising 165 million enthusiasts and 215 million casual viewers. You can see that the numbers are all broken down there with the NFL having 270 million, Major League Baseball having 114 million, NHL having 65 million, and the NBA having 231 million. And look at this esports currently at 167 million with a projected 276 million by 2022. That is absolutely staggering. But even with all the recent growth, the video gaming market is still young and flying somewhat under the radar. But that won't last for much longer. It is projected that the global gaming market will generate up to $150 billion in revenue in 2019. Wow. 
As more and more investors look for ways to tap into the market's explosive growth, one company that is beginning to capture attention is currently little-known Enthusiast Gaming. Enthusiast Gaming has transformed it just the past few years from one gaming blog and a tiny operation hosting in-person gaming meetups and tournaments in small bars to one of the fastest growing gaming networks in North America. While Enthusiast Gaming is selling out entire venues with their huge live gaming expo events with over 30,000 attendees at the last EGLX event in October 2018, its greatest asset remains a massive active online community of over 75 million unique visitors per month and growing. Wow. Enthusiast Network is becoming the number one platform for brands targeting the gaming demographic. Over the past few years, the gaming industry has racked up some impressive windfalls for investors as well as for brands such as NVIDIA, Take-Two, and China's Tencent. And yet, we may still be witnessing the tip of the gaming iceberg, according to Gamescape. Approximately 39% of the total U.S. gaming audience are in the coveted and hard-to-market 25 to 34 age range, while 61% of 18-plus viewers earn over and above average $50,000 a year. Not surprising, then, that advertising and sponsorship dollars are pouring into the gaming industry and the increases are accelerating every year. Look at the viewer profile. Look at this. They are not students living on subsidiaries. They watch esports from games they don't play. They don't tune in only for finals. They believe esports is real sports. They are into traditional sports too. They spend money on esports. 31 million people in the United States have watched esports. Another 24 million are interested in watching. This is a booming industry. More importantly still, Newzu says the average revenue per enthusiast is currently $3.64, which pales in comparison with average revenue per NBA fan, for instance, which is $15. This figure is expected to rise to 660 by 2021, an increase of over 80%. Esports pulling in the biggest names in major league sports. With audience figures and revenue per spectator projected to rise significantly in countries such as the United States and China, it seems we are on the cusp of a golden age for gaming as a spectator sport. More investment capital than ever is flowing into the gaming industry, with Epic Games just this October announcing a $1.25 billion in new investment, the largest funding round for a new company according to PitchBook Data. As the creator of Fortnite, currently the world's most popular video game, Epic now boasts investments from Kleiner Perkins, Lightspeed Venture Partners, KKR, Exomatic, Vulcan Capital, Iconic Capital, as well as from minority stakeholders Disney, Tencent, and Endeavor. Funding rounds for gaming companies promise to continue on this upward trajectory with the previous high of $550 million raised less than 18 months before that by C Limited, a Singapore-based online gaming portal for Southeast Asia. Meanwhile, esports leagues and teams have begun attracting investor attention for some of the most well-known titans in big league sports. In 2017, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, New York Mets executive Jeff Wilpon, and LA Rams owner Stan Kroenke all invested into Activision Blizzard's new Overwatch esports league. When asked why he invested $20 million in an Overwatch sports team, Kraft began with the obvious. An increasing number of youth these days watch would much rather watch interactive video games than sit passively for three hours in front of a sports game. This is a new world, people. You need to pay attention. And what I do here at Rich TV Live, I bring in the winners and I bring them to you first. I want to know, have you ever heard of this company before? Has anyone ever told you about this company before? Or am I the first? Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here at Rich TV Live. Each of these US three US sports giants have now sunk tens of millions into the funding of one of 12 franchises based across the United States, making it the most ambitious league in esports. The Overwatch League promises to attract more exposure than any other 
Esports League and recently inked a deal to broadcast hours of contact on the flagship ESPN network, ESPN2, Disney XD, ABC, and its family of streaming services. Even Michael Jordan is now getting in on the action, jumping into a 26 million Series C funding round for Axiomatic, the parent company of Team Liquid, a Netherlands based professional esports organization. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. So I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below. Enthusiast Gaming, EGLX on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange, EGHIF on the OTCQB. I brought it to you first. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. I think Enthusiast Gaming has a chance to explode. It's got some of the biggest and most powerful entrepreneurs in the world involved so why not explode i think it might i want to know what you think and key analysts are also growing increasingly bullish on gaming and esports as a historic investment opportunity pot in 2015 is esports in 2018 can you imagine can you just imagine when menashi kestenbaum founder and ceo of enthusiast gaming accomplished in three short years may seem miraculous but it is actually a reflection of how quickly the industry has exploded in the past few years. Consider the fact that Enthusiast got off to a humble start online with one blog called Nintendo Enthusiast and offline packing a local Toronto pub with 120 gamers every Sunday. These days, Enthusiast Gaming, EGLX in Canada, EGHIF, shatters its own impressive records year after year for the largest gaming convention in Canada. Its latest Enthusiast Gaming Live Expo, EGLX, held in October 2018, hosted over 30,000 at the sold-out Metro Toronto Convention Center. Wow. This is big. This is huge. At EGLX this year, fans watched two major esports tournaments, including the Canadian Finals for the World Electronic Sports Games, WESG, sponsored by Ali Sports, a division of Alibaba, and LG Ultra Gear, which put 150000 Canadian in prize money up for grabs. EGLX also hosted the Twitch and Capcom-sponsored Canada Cup 2018, which had a prize pool of over 50000 Canadian. This is unbelievable. Enthusiast Gaming is built by gamers for gamers and connects the community across more than one touch point that continues to grow at a staggering rate. I think this is going to be huge and you heard it here first. Stay tuned. I'm going to bring you more information on this company. This is just the beginning. I think this bad boy is going to be huge. And like usual, your boy Rich brings it to you first. If you like this video, smash the like button. Comment down below. What do you think about... Enthusiast Gaming. Is it a big winner? Currently at 97 cents in Canada, and you heard it here first from your boy Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching Enthusiast Gaming. I'm out. Peace.